Hello and good morning. How are you? My name is Philip. I'm from England and I am speaking from Milan. I am in my kitchen. This is my kitchen. Where are you from? What's the weather like today? I'm Philip. I'm speaking from Milan. The weather is warm and sunny. How are you today? Say hello. Don't be shy. I don't bite. Say hello. Hi. Hey. Hi, Philip. Hello. How are you? Hello. I see two listeners. What, what are your names? Where are you from? And what's the weather like today? The weather in Milan is warm and sunny. It's very beautiful. I don't like staying inside. I like sitting on my balcony and I like reading my book. I also like playing the piano. Ah, hello, Emma. You live in Turin, it's sunny here too. Okay, lovely. Turin is very beautiful. I really like Turin. Okay, so today we have a focus free time and hobbies. Okay, let's start. In this focus activity, we are looking at favorite hobbies, like and don't like, and asking questions. Uh, Karen says, I really like Turin too. I, I was only in Turin for two days, but those two days were very, very fun and beautiful. Okay. First of all, Oh, not too much. <laughs> Answer the question. What do you do in your free time? What do you do in your free time? We have 
a lot of free time in these days. What do you do in your free time? I want to make a list of things we do in our free time. For example, this one, what's this? Or this one. Okay. Emma says, I read books, watch TV series, and paint. Okay, paint is this one. Di dipingere, I think in Italian, to paint. That's really nice. I, I love reading books. I really like watching TV series too. And I, I don't mind painting. I am not, I am not a painter. I am not an artist. I wish. Okay, so we have reading books, watching TV series, and painting. What else do you do in your free time? Karen, what do you do in your free time? Okay, let's move on. Okay, what do you do in your free time? We have a list. Karen and Emma, do you do these things in your free time? Yes or no? Karen says, I take photos. Lovely. So, do you watch movies? Do you play sports? Do you play computer games? Do you, hmm, what's the verb with photography? Make a photo? Take a photo. Do you take photos? Do you go out with your friends? Do you go swimming? And do you travel? How often do you do these things? I watch movies once a week. Okay, once, una volta, once a week, once a month. Once a year. Due volte. Twice. Twice a month, for example. I never play computer games. They're boring. Oh, they're boring. Emma says, me too, but I don't really like playing sports, just volleyball. Very good. So I will translate. Anch'io, ma non mi piace tanto giocare sport. Solo volleyball. Solo volleyball. Just volleyball. That's a fantastic answer. Thank you, Emma. Emma also says, I always go out with my friends. Well, not at the moment, Emma. 
Sorry, bad joke. Emma, do you use Zoom to spend time with friends? I use house party. It's very fun. Okay. Yeah, Zoom is uh, an application on your computer or on your phone. You use a camera and a microphone. Oh, okay, you use a uh, hangout. Okay, Emma said, I'm really sad. I miss my friends. Very good. That's good vocabulary there. I miss my friends. Me too. So I try to use um, I try to use house party or WhatsApp when I can. <laughs> Karen says me three. Okay, this is a joke. Me two and Kio. Me three. Okay, well, I watch movies all the time. I rarely play sports. Emma says, I often travel. Okay. Emma, where's your favorite location to to visit? Okay. Let's continue. Hmm. These are useful verbs. Watch, play, go, travel. Travel e viaggiare. Viaggio is trip. Okay, so the noun is trip. Okay, Emma says she likes Amsterdam. And The Hague. Oh, I've never visited The Hague. Okay. Oh, we have four viewers. What do you do in your free time? Okay. Um, play. With the verb play, you can play sports with a ball. For example, play football, volleyball, or tennis. Or you can play an instrument. You can play the guitar, play the piano. And you can play computer games. Can you use another, can you use play in another way? Okay, so photography, we say to take photos. Prendere la foto. It's a little bit strange. Go out. Uscire, to go out. To have fun. Of course, you can also say to spend time with friends.
And here we have go plus an ing verb. Go do ing verb. Go swimming. I like going swimming. Uh, go skiing. Go running. Go shopping. Okay. When there is a sport with movement, use go. Oh. Go dancing. Very good. Okay. And again, travel is the verb, trip is the noun, and you can take a trip, to take a trip, or to travel. Okay. Let's continue. Okay. What do you do in your free time? Do you like? Yes, I like. No, I don't like. It's okay. Okay. Like is transitive. Yes, I like qualcosa. Yes, I like something. Do you like something? Okay. There are levels of like. I like, I don't like. If it's very strong, say, I love, or the opposite, or the or, I hate. I love and I hate. Okay. So, ask me a question with do you like. Remember, with like, we use an ing verb. Do you like shopping? Do you like watching television? Ask me a question, any question. Do you like and I will answer, so, do you like? And answer, yes, I do. I like. Okay, so the Karen's asked me, do you like learning Italian? Yes, I do. I really like learning Italian. Okay. Here we have la risposta, uh, il risposto, is it masculine or feminine? <laughs> Corto, yes I do. Lungo, I really like learning Italian. So short answer, yes I do, with auxiliary verb, do. Long answer, I really like learning Italian. Emma says, oh, Karen, Karen, do you like learning Italian? How often do you learn Italian? Uh -huh. Emma says, do you like traveling? Of course I do. I love traveling to new cities around Italy. And you, Emma? Do you like traveling? And do you like studying English? So here again, we have the short answer, of course, certo, I do. 
Sì, certo. Of course I do. I love traveling to new cities around around Italy. Mi piace molto viaggiare alle nuove città. <laughs> around Italy. <laughs> oh, my Italian is fantastic. Okay. Karen says, I do. I sometimes study Italian. So remember, Karen, Karen we say, yes, I do. Okay. Yes, I do. Or, of course, I do. Okay, how about the negative form? So, if you ask me, Phil, do you like cleaning your house? You can answer me in the comments. Do you like cleaning your house? Okay, Emma says, I love learning English and traveling. I want to travel all the time. Very good. So we have, um, with the verb like, love, hate, mettiamo in verbo ing. Okay, I love learning, I like learning and traveling. I want, voglio, I want to travel all the time, sempre, all the time. Emma says, I don't really like cleaning. Very good. Okay. If you say, Phil, do you like cleaning your house? Karen says, oh, me neither. Just neanche or negative. When two things are the same. Yeah, me neither. I, so I say, no, I don't, definitely not, it's boring, I know yours though, it's boring, okay. Now, we have a question. What is your favorite hobby? Okay, my favorite hobby is playing music. Okay, my favorite hobby is playing music. Ask me a question about playing music. For example, when, quando, who, chi, con chi, and where, dove. When we ask a question in English, we use the form quasi question auxiliary subject infinitive for example 
question or auxiliary subject infinitive. For example, what do you play? Question, what auxiliary do subject you infinitive play? Quasi, question, what auxiliary do subject you play infinitive? I play the piano. I play classical music or pop music on the piano. Ask me another question. about uh, playing the piano or playing music. I want one more question using the quasi structure. Very good, Emma. When do you play the piano? Hmm. In in a good period, I play the piano every day. At the moment, I'm not playing very often. <laughs> I've lost the motivation. <laughs> but hopefully, I will play in the future. I will play every day. OK, now, Karen's. Karen's uh, favorite hobby is taking photos and art. So, Karen, what do you take photos of? Again, using that quasi structure and the preposition of at the end uh, Emma says why do you play the piano I play the piano because it's challenging and sometimes relaxing Karen has replied, I take photos of moments. Okay, here's more, uh, more detail. Places, people, little details, okay. I think you like taking photos of the city then. Okay, and Emma, you said that you like playing volleyball. Emma, how, oh, how often do you play volleyball? And where, oh no, who do you play with? Again, how often, question, auxiliary, do, subject, you, infinitive verb, play, object, volleyball, and who do you play with, who, key, do you play, so auxiliary, subject, infinitive, with, con, Emma says, I play with my friends. I play volleyball once a week. Lovely. Thank you, Emma. Do you play volleyball inside or outside? I'm curious. I think playing volleyball outside is maybe more difficult because of the sand. I don't know if it's true.
All right. What do they do? Again, we have um, we have a question at the beginning. What do they do? What cosa do auxiliary? So we use an auxiliary verb in questions and negatives. What do they do? Cosa fanno loro? What do they do? Emma says, I love beach volleyball, but I often play inside dentro a building, edificio, inside a building. She said, it's a lot of fun. I'm sacco di divertimento, è divertente. Lovely. Thank you, Emma. What do your friends do in their free time? How many family members can you remember? For example, sister. What does your sister do in their, in their free time? Okay, so let's think of family members. Write in the comments, different family members. What vocabulary can you remember? So sister, opposite, brother, And then ask me a question. I have, I don't have any sisters, but I have two older brothers. I don't have any any sisters, but I have two older brothers. All right, we got uh, brother, cousin, very good. Uh, mom and dad, lovely. Okay, so ask me a question with a family member. So, for example, what does your sister do in their free time? Ask me a question. Or you can answer also, Emma, do you have a sister? What does your sister do in, in her free time? Or, oh, like, in her free time, her, because sister... It's a woman, um, it's female. If you say, what does your brother do? You would say, what does your brother do in his free time? Because brother is masculine. Okay, other family members, Zio and Zia. Uncle, aunt. Um, yeah. So what does your brother or sister do in their free time? Or what does your best friend do in their free time? Remember to use the S come with the third person. So my sister uh, plays video games, for example. With the verb, we use the S in the third person. My sister plays video games. Uh, Karen, what did your brother do in his free time? Emma, do you have a brother or sister? If not, what does your cousin do? Or what does your best friend do in their free time?
Mm. Everybody's gone very quiet. I can see there are four listeners. That means four people can respond in the comments. Okay, we have one. Karen says, my brother plays computer games. Okay, which computer games does he play? So when we use the question in the third person, the auxiliary becomes does. What, what video games does he play? Or which video game, quale, which? Karen says, he plays OSU. What's that? Oh, it's a, a Japanese video game. Hmm. It looks fun. Okay, Emma says, I have a younger sister. Okay, now we have older and younger. Older, più grande. Younger, più piccola, più piccola. Uh, in English, we don't say bigger or smaller. We say older and younger. I have two older brothers. Okay. Um, so Ozu is a multiplayer game. Okay, sounds interesting. Okay. Hi, Andrea. Thank you for coming. Thank you for coming, and Andrea. Um, you said your sister cooks Italian food. So remember to put the S on the third person. Cooks. My sister cooks. It's, the verbs are very simple in English. We only change the third person. I cook, you cook, um, he, she, it, cooks. And Andrea, um, what's your sister's best dish? What's your sister's best dish? Qual, qual è suo piatto migliore? What's your, your best, what's your sister's best dish? So you say her. Her. Her best dish is, hmm. I think my favorite dish is lasagna. I love lasagna. Okay. So if you answer that question, Andrea, I will continue to the last slide. Come here, Garfield. Yes, 
and like Garfield. Andrea says, her sister's best dish is roast beef. That's very British. Um, in Britain, we eat a lot of roast, roast beef. It's my favorite dish in England. Yes, wow. Okay, so we have four questions. Which hobbies are dangerous? Which hobbies are safe? Which hobbies are cheap? And which hobbies are expensive? Okay. So which hobbies are dangerous? Dangerous is pericoloso. And the opposite, sicuro, is safe. Which hobbies are, are cheap? Okay, cotton or poco. They, they, they cost very little. And the opposite, which hobbies are expensive? They, they cost a lot of money. Now, when you, when you are not sure, you can say, I think. Or the negative, I don't think. For example, I think paragliding, which is uh, the picture, I think paragliding is dangerous. Oh no, maybe, is it paragliding or parachuting? Paragliding. Thank you, Dan. Okay. What do you think? It wasn't a fancy. What do you think? Uh, Emma says, the one in the photo is dangerous. Yes, I think paragliding is dangerous if you don't have the correct equipment. Okay, I haven't received any any comments yet. That's because my computer is maybe a little slow. Okay, ooh. Um, Emma says, I think playing volleyball is cheap. Okay. Andrea says, parachuting is dangerous and cheap. Okay. Andrea, non c'è bisogno di del um, virgola, the, the comma. Parachuting is dangerous. Non usiamo la virgola. Parachuting is dangerous and cheap. Very good. But traveling is a little bit expensive sometimes. Okay. Ma viaggiare un po pochino... Uh, abbastanza costosa, costoso, qualche volta. Traveling is a little bit expensive sometimes. Okay, let's summarize today's lesson. Okay, my first question was. What do you do in your free time? And we saw three new verbs. Abbiamo visto tre verbi. 
go play and watch so go we can use with verbs and ing so I go shopping go swimming go dancing as you said Emma play an instrument play sport so it can mean suonare giocare play and uscire how do you say uscire to go out to go out with friends and then we looked at the quasi structure ah no we looked at do you like so karen asked me do you like learning italian so like mettiamo in do you like learning italian and i said yes i do short answer i really like learning italian long answer so yes i do i really like learning italian or of course i do si certo of course i do And the, if you ask me, Philip, do you like cleaning your house? Pulire la casa, do you like cleaning your house? They say, no, I don't. Negative, short answer. Definitely not. Because it's boring. <sighs> it's boring. I also use fun divertimento it's um divertente excuse me it's fun it's a lot of fun is the opposite okay and then we looked at quasi structures as well question auxiliary subject infinitive for example what do you play when do you play the piano why do you play the piano where do you take photos? How do you travel around Italy? How often do you play volleyball? Quanto spesso? How often do you play volleyball? Who do you play with? Con chi giochi? Who do you play with? And then we looked at different uh, vocabulary for family. Brother, sister, mother, father, and also uncle and aunt. Uncle and aunt. We have adjectives also. Younger, più giovane, più, più piccolo. And older, più grande, or or um, più vecchio. And then in the third person questions, which video games does he play? So do cambia, it changes to does. And the terza persona, third person. And when we use the verb, she sings with an S and she dances with an S in her free time. very important this is the most important thing from today's lesson she sings and she dances so with an s okay okay ah andrea says but right now i do the bicycle so andare in bicicletta okay in english we say I I ride my bicycle. But well done, Andrea. I ride my bicycle. Good. And in third person, he or she rides. So remember that S today. Okay.
thank you very much. Thank you, Emma. Thank you, Andrea. Thank you, Karen. Have a nice day. Have fun. See you soon. Bye.